you guys, welcome or welcome back to Sissy Spaces. In today's video, we're deep cleaning and deodorizing several rooms in my home. So if this is something you're interested in, continue watching. And at the end of the video, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button and share this channel with your family and friends. deodorizing in my oldest son's room. To deodorize in bedrooms, I start with the bed. I wash the sheets with vinegar and borax and I also wipe down the windows, furniture, and the floors. This eliminates any odor every time. Beds in my home have mattress protectors. Now, not only does a mattress protector prevent dirt and moisture from staining and degrading your mattress, it's also the easiest way to eliminate odors. Instead of shampooing your mattress, just throw your mattress protector in the washer. I also eliminate odors in my home by cleaning the windows and the blinds. A simple gap or incorrect layering could allow moisture to enter the wall cavity around the windows and mold to develop. So I use vinegar to penetrate the mold and I caulk around the windows. I also wipe down my window moldings and blinds often. My son finally fixed the motor on the left twin adjustable bed. I raise the head of the bed to a comfortable height to prevent back strain and I lower it once I place the linens on it to ensure the linens are tight fitting and wrinkle free. Every Friday, I wash all the linens in my home, including the pillow protectors and the throws. Today, I need to also wash my youngest son's mattress protector because he always forgets to bring it down with his sheets. I placed my oldest son's towels in the washer earlier this morning and now that they're done, I can put them in the dryer and load my youngest son's mattress protector in the washer. Again, I like using borax with vinegar and my gain detergents to clean and deodorize my whites. cotton pillow protectors, which makes it difficult to add pillowcases. My youngest son has satin pillow protectors and it is a lot easier to place the pillowcases on them. Wood is a porous material and that means it tends to hold on to absorb and emit odors. So along with washing sheets and cleaning windows and blinds, I also deodorize my furniture by wiping it down. I like using a lemon scented pledge, which leaves a shine and a fresh lemony scent behind.
Whenever I clean my windows, I always forget to dust the grip group, which is a haven for dust. As you can see, I'm running low on my pledge, but I definitely placed it on the grocery list for tomorrow. My son uses this metal end table as a chair when playing his games. I'm on the lookout for an upholstered in a bed bench to replace this. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment. the jingle on the washer or dryer, but it was a false alarm. Once I'm done in his closet and bedroom, I can deep clean and deodorize the bathroom. You would think the bathroom is where most of your odors are coming from, but it's not. Actually, it's your garbage in the kitchen that tops the list. Whenever I wash bulky loads of laundry, I add an additional drain and spin cycle. This helps remove as much water as possible from that load, which reduces drying time. The microfiber cloths when cleaning. You see, microfiber cloths are different than regular washcloths because they have these tiny fibers that pick up dirt and dust better than regular washcloths. But not all microfiber cloths are created equal, so check the fine print before purchasing. spray away glass cleaner on all my mirrors because it's ammonia free it dries quickly and it's a deodorizer because it leaves a clean fresh scent behind when cleaning your sink remember to clean the inside rim of the sink you wouldn't believe the amount of gunk that gets trapped in that area Pay special attention to the towel surrounding the tub because I haven't cleaned it in a while. Whenever I clean the tub, I always seem to pay more attention to the inside of the tub. I'm not sure what this is trapped inside this toothbrush holder, but whatever it is, it's got to go.
the vanity cabinets whenever I clean the bathroom, but you should also wipe them down if you have a lot of moisture in your bathroom. Removing the moisture prevents mold and mildew from growing. I finally received the flat attachment from Amazon for this drill. I used the yellow flat attachment for the walls of the shower and the blue is for the crevices and the corners. And after each use, I plug in the drill to charge. In between wiping the spray away glass cleaner off the shower doors, I rinse the microfiber cloths. This helps in removing any excess products from the shower door. My youngest son's mattress protector is done washing, which means I can now wash my oldest son's second set of sheets. Because this is going to be a large load, I'm going to wash it on the bulky large cycle, drain, and spin it twice. Along with the interior, I'm going to wipe down the exterior of the shower doors. I only use spray away glass cleaner on the exterior of my shower doors because the hard water stains are only on the interior of the doors. Turning the items to the shower and hanging clean towels. I want to clean and deodorize the toilet room. I also want to deep clean and disinfect his toilet brush and plunger. it before but it's worth repeating when cleaning the toilet remember to open and clean the bolt covers it's the most neglected part of the toilet when cleaning Whenever I'm done cleaning the toilet bowl, I lay the brush on the edge of the toilet to air dry. The container which holds the brush has air pockets built in, which also allows the brush to air dry. the cancer of my robot after each use and wipe it down. This not only extends the life of my vacuum but also eliminates odor because you're not allowing those things trapped in the canister to sit. I 
save all of my shopping bags and place them in these used tissue boxes. And I also place a tissue box in each bathroom. This makes it very convenient to replace your trash bag when needed. opening this vanity cabinet several times today, I realized it needs to be cleaned and organized. This was not on my list today, but it must be done. Since I cleaned and organized the other cabinet, I might as well do this one as well. I heard the LG jingle, so that means my oldest son's second set of sheets are done. I decided to check my youngest son's mattress protector to see if it was dry, but it wasn't. So I cleaned the lint trap and placed the dryer on bulky high heat to dry it quickly. I also set the washer on drain and span to remove any excess water from the bulky load of sheets I placed in there earlier. And since I had cleaned the cabinets of the vanity, I figured I might as well do the same for the drawers. <laughs> While I was cleaning my oldest son's vanity drawers, I realized he's done a good job of keeping it organized. But he definitely hasn't wiped it down though, so it's a good thing I decided to do it. Third drawers were not as dirty, but they were also not as organized either. Now that his vanity is cleaned and organized, we can finish cleaning the bathroom by mopping his floor. I'm using the Swifter Wet Pass because it's easy to use, store, and it deodorizes by leaving a clean, fresh scent behind. house goal this year was to wash all the doors and walls in my home. I'm happy to announce once I'm done washing the walls and doors in this room, which is the guest room, my goal will be complete. What should my house goal be for next year? My youngest son's mattress pad is dry, so now I can load my oldest son's sheets in the dryer. Since this is my last load of the day, I want to dry the washer door, rubber gasket of the drum, and soap dispenser. I also want to place this mattress pad back on my youngest son's bed before it gets too late.
I was asked by a relative how I stay so slim, and this is how, climbing these stairs multiple times a day. I do apologize for the flickering lights. I accidentally recorded this part of the video as well as me cleaning the walls in the guest room on the slow-mo speed. And when I converted it to the normal speed, the lights flickered. If this bothers you, fast forward to the 2231 mark. I wasn't able to reach the very top of some of the walls because the ceilings are vaulted in here, but I was able to get most if not all of the other walls. I want to deep clean deodorize my laundry room because it is used a lot. I'm wiping down the cabinet, shelving, and the washer and dryer with a damp microfiber cloth and I definitely need to vacuum the pedestals located under the washer and dryer and clean the moldings and the floors. these pedestals under the washer and dryer because of the extra storage, but they're also a haven for trapping dust and dirt. I try to vacuum them out weekly, but I need to change that to daily. also need to clean the floors along the moldings. It seems when I mop, the dirt gets trapped along these moldings located under the vacuum. Since I had the vacuum out, I might as well vacuum by the exit doors. vacuuming I forgot to return the rug but my youngest son took care of it for me. It's late in the evening but I refuse to call it a night before folding and putting away the last load of laundry. fitted sheets first by folding them in half. I then meet up the edges and fold them inward to form a rectangle. From there, I fold them in thirds until I form a square. Search. 
searching for something that ain't lost. Have we got our lines crossed? We're wasting time on stuff that doesn't really matter. While wishing for something better, I try to fix things that weren't broken. Misunderstandings and words unspoken. We fall apart, and I won't dare to say. Do you feel the same way? If you made it this far in the video, I want to thank you for watching Sissy's Faces. And if you enjoyed today's video, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button and share this channel with your family and friends. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.